I recently spent some time in Arizona. I was born in Phoenix and I spent the first few years of my life there before my family moved to Denver. I still have family in the area and it was the perfect stop between Denver and LA where I'm currently spending a couple of months. So instead of just flying out for a few days as I originally planned, I decided to leave for the West Coast early and spend a little over a week in the desert. I've been really hoping for a chance to photograph the Southwest a bit. I want to come back, but I think this scratched the itch for now. The landscape and what grows there with the cacti, the saguaros, feels sort of alien despite the fact I've visited several times. Life has been crazy these past few months. There has been so much transition and a very clear end to a very large chapter in my life. I moved everything I own, which it turns out is not much, about half a cargo van from North Carolina back to my family's home in Denver where it's going to stay in boxes indefinitely. Fortunately, it's not because I've fallen on hard times or had some kind of unforeseen circumstance come up, but rather I decided to spend the rest of this year and the foreseeable future traveling full time. The things I have with me comprise roughly two suitcases and a backpack. And if you count the things in my trunk, maybe a little bit more, but I think that overall I did a pretty decent job of streamlining. I'll be gone at first for a little over four months on the west coast, and I've been gone already for about a month of that, so I'm starting to get a feel for it, starting to get the hang of it. I'm planning to make my way up to PCH over a few days at the beginning of June, sail a little Portland again, and spend about a month in Seattle. After that, I'll be in Bellingham, which is about an hour south of Vancouver, seeing what I can of British Columbia and Northern Washington, after which I will hike and car camp my way back home to Denver through Leavenworth and Boise, Salt Lake City, spend a couple of weeks regrouping in Denver, and then fly out to the East Coast for the rest of the year, but more on that leg of the trip later. I love talking about these plans with people when they ask what I mean by traveling full-time. The mixture of reactions from jealousy to excitement to inspiration, confusion, outright disgust that I'd want to spend time in California or live in a stranger's spare room has been one of my favorite parts of this transition. It just goes to show that if there's something out there that you know you want to do, it doesn't have to make sense to anybody else. I can say from experience, a month or so into this, go for it. Take the leap and do the thing that you want to do. It's such a cliche piece of advice, but I truly am so happy that I finally took it. You know, rest assured, I'm still a street photographer. You're not always gonna see content like this. I'm still gonna be out in the city doing that kind of thing. But, you know, if I had to kind of rank my interests, right, it would be travel, photography, street photography. So I'm always gonna be a street photographer, uh, or at least for the foreseeable future, uh, until I stop enjoying it for whatever reason, if that day ever comes. Um, but I do wanna change up this content a little bit. Uh, so on the channel, you're gonna start to see some more kind of travel oriented stuff like this. Um, me just sort of documenting my uh, year as I, you know, sort of make my way around the country as whatever photographic vagrant I've become. I've always been kind of a minimalist at heart. And so this has been uh, just fantastic. I mean, I feel like I've won the lottery uh, and I hope that that comes through in the content that you're about to see coming up on this channel. So, you know, I really am excited. So. Um, I'm grateful for the opportunity. Like I said, I feel like I've literally won the lottery. So um, just stoked, just really stoked. And I hope that you guys are too. Hopefully you enjoyed some of the photos in this episode. Let me know what you think down in the comments and I will see you in the next one.